A very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect Google Gemini AI in Obsidian Vault. Now here, I'm already on my Gemini and uh, you can create a free account with Gemini. You notice that we have the Gemini Advanced and we have the Gemini Basic and the basic one is free. Now, you'll create an account on Obsidian and we have the link to that in the description of this video, that is obsidian.md. Then after you've created an account using your email and password, it will bring you to your Obsidian vault here. So now how will you integrate or connect Google Gemini AI in Obsidian vault? You'll come to the left-hand side below here Remember, you have already created your Obsidian account. This one is my account already. I've already logged in. Click on settings and then you'll see general editor, files and links, appearance, hotkeys, core plugins and community plugins. If you search Gemini from core plugins, you are not going to get it. You notice if I type here Gemini on the top right corner, I can't get it there. But if I click on community plugins and then you are going to click next on browse still under community plugins but you notice currently i've not installed any plugin there so you click on browse so it will give you the option to search at the top here so you type there gemini you notice we have the edit gemini and we have the gemini assistant this is the one we want so you click on that the gemini assistant you notice the number of downloads the description we have it here your Gemini AI powered assistant, the features, it has content generation, and it, it also has the Gemini chat. What you'll be able to do, you'll be able to get your Gemini key, and this is where you are going to type to get your Gemini key there. So I'm going to copy this because I'm going to be generating an API key soon. You can also type your own commands. So you'll come to the top here and click on install. And what this will do is that it will install the plugin Gemini assistant. So you notice it has been successfully installed. So for you to start using it, you have to click on enable. So I'll click on enable. You notice now it's enabled. And then you notice we have the hotkeys, disable, uninstall, uninstall and all these things. So what we do is we go to options. So click on options. So this is where it takes you. You can use the API key. And how do you get the API key? As I said, you come to your browser. Just type there ai.google.dev. That link is available in the description of this video. And this will help you to get an API key. So we have them here. You will notice here we have get Gemini API key in Google AI Studio. Basically, you can directly type Google AI Studio in case you forget this link here. And that will lead you somewhere where you can get the Gemini AI key. So you'll click here on use Google AI here. Then you check all these three boxes and then you click on continue. And then the API key is here. You can click on that. And then now you notice you have the option to copy. Here is the UPI key. You click on that to copy that. You give it time to generate so that you can copy the UPI key. So you'll click on that and then it will take you to where you can get the API key. So back to our Gemini here, you notice the other thing we can do is have our chat settings. You can click on that and then you can decide on the maximum output tokens. You can adjust this to the number of tokens you would want. You can, of course, again, change the temperature here, how you want it to look. Then we can change the top P and of course the top K to whichever number you would want. So I want to reduce that and click on save. Again, you can set your harm content threshold here. You decide the harm content threshold, either to be low, medium, or high. I want to set mine as medium. Then this is where you can now generate your own prompt. Like here, if I click on the settings, you notice I can give the model setting here. So this one, I'll call it summary. And then if I scroll down here, I can type the prompt for this summary. So let me call this one summary of document so that once i select this one it will select the whole document you notice here for selection i can type selection or document i select document and then prompt here i'm going to type here summarize 
the document in one paragraph. So you notice now down here in prompts, I have summary of document prompt added. I can keep on adding other prompts here. Maybe I'm going to call this one point form, point form. And then I'm going to select here the scope. Where do I want it to, to deal with? Where do I want it to generate the point form from? Is it from selection or from the whole document? I want maybe from the whole document, I select document. I can change these other things. Then I give the prompt for point form. Maybe I type here, write the document in point form. And then I click on save. So you notice now I have the prompt for summary of the document. And then I have the point form down here. I can even change this one for Ask Gemini. I can always add as many prompts as I want, depending on what I normally use Gemini on. If I'm dealing with summary, I can do that. But also, let me change this one for Ask Gemini so that I can put this prompt as rewrite, rewrite in a professional tone. And then let me select this one so that it becomes the same as the prompt here. And then maybe the part I want, I don't want the whole document now, I want the selection. Then I click on save. So you now notice I have my prompts here, all added there. And now if I close this, then I can come to my document here. Let me just type, let me just add a note here. If I go back to my Gemini, I can generate any text I want. Maybe generate an article on best hygiene practices. Then I just click on generate. So you notice it has generated my article there. Now, if I enter the command prompt here, I, so if now I come to my command palette here, then I can type at the top here, Gemini. You notice we have it here. I can just click on that. And you notice now it has opened my chat with Gemini here. You notice we have our Gemini assistant there. If now I just come to command palette here, then I select the command here. I just type Gemini. You notice I have the Gemini assistant there. If I just click on that, so you notice if I click on that, you notice I get my three options here that I had already typed on my Gemini. So I can directly click on any of them. So you notice now I can click on any one of them. Then I can summarize whatever selection I had or even whichever document that I had. And that is simply how you connect Google Gemini AI to Obsidian or in Obsidian Vault. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like, kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.